Right, here's another one marked down return. Although, this isn't really worth it. But I, I kind of needed one of these. Well, I didn't need. I needed to get one for something. So. <clears throat> 13 off. Oh, kind of sucks. Uh, I don't even recall if I checked to make sure there was in there. Well, I think I did. I never buy this crap without checking. You got your own manual. You know what that is, you know? Your HBO? Yeah? Oh, that means your own. You know what that is. Hmm. Oh, what am I doing? I'm going to need to test this with four volts. twist fuse looks good Twelve volt, fifteen amps. Are you nuts? Pretty sure that fuse is not fifteen amps. And lighters generally do not have fifteen amps. Okay, so this is sketched because this is a t this is connected. It's a bit sketchy. Wasn't all the way in. Is there a push button in there? No. I didn't have it all the way in, which. <clears throat> Wouldn't be helpful to the bunch. So they just use it to inflate a basketball. It's definitely bent a little. <coughs> 15 amp. That is crazy. Lighter outlets aren't 15 amps. So why would this be drawing 15 amps? I blew the fuse in the person's car and I thought the thing was bad. Uh, lighter outlets tend to be about four and five amps, something like that. Um, that is really sketch. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure that that is not a 15 amp fuse that's in there. That was like a three. Two. It's like a two amp. So we can zoom to that. Come on, they're calling that fifteen. There's no way that's a fifteen amp.
this 15 in too. There's no way that's a 15 amp fuse. I mean, look, look how thick that is, or how thin. Right there, that's the thickness of that. That to me looks like a five amp, five or six amp. That ain't no 15. I'm calling BS on that. So anyway. Uh, lighter outlets uh, don't tend to be 15. So. Hmm. Alright. <clears throat> so. I don't think that's doing 15 amp. So either way, this battery only can do seven and a half amp. Well, that's not true. Battery will do whatever ampage it says it thinks it can do. Uh, I don't know if I need the light on or not. I got this over cardboard because I don't want to melt the carpet in case this mar mofo tries to pull 15 amps. All right. I think I got to turn the light off. Yeah. These stupid things with the green lights. Is that recording? Yeah. We have a light on. I wonder if you could turn the light on or off. Come on. There we go. Got to turn on the darkness. All right. Zero PSI. Target is 36. Any way to turn the light on or off? I don't think so. Turn on, see what happens. I keep this over the cardboard. <clears throat> Interesting. Why did we cut off? Oh, because I hit the target. All right. the sound of that motor. Alright, well the motor was screeching originally. Let's see, let me check these wires. Are they hot? You can't even see me over there. Oh, they're just, they're not hot. They're, they're, they're starting to get warm, but you know. All right, let's go try again. All The wires are just slightly warm. <clears throat> this isn't hot. It's generally when you're filling a tire, it's going to be sitting. That's why I was keeping it at 20, 21, 28. You're going to be sitting at those PSIs. So the thing's going to have to work its ass off to get up to the, to the 35 that you need. Um, the friggin' Audi tires, the Q7, they're, they're, their thing wants your shit at 49 PSI, which is crazy. 
Uh, that's if you're going to have the seven people in there. Otherwise, you really don't need to run it at 49. That's the recommended of the car with full occupancy. So, it does. It works. It was a return. Who cares? It works, bro. And to note, I mean, I don't have a an amperage measure on here, but I, I don't believe these wires can handle 15 amps. This is 22 gauge. I mean, I could be wrong. I'll look it up. I think this is 22 gauge wire. It might even be 24. I'm pretty sure it can't handle 15 amps. And me making it sit at the 28, yeah, that should have been drawing some current. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? A little bit, a little bit current, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. A little bit. <clears throat> As for the tire inflator, that, that would goes like this. So you take take this out, and then you throw the throw the inflator in there. And then put it back in. Put it back in like that. So that's that's where that gets stored. You probably saw that because you're buying a new one. <laughs> and that's where it was anyway. Probably see if you could fit the fuse in there too. You know? You can probably throw the fuse inside the other one. I'm just going to jam it in there with the screw of it. Meat beat. Uh oh. What are you doing? <laughs> 